Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. If you have any questions about this video, please feel free to email me at walkwithtak at gmail.com. It's much easier for me to answer more detail in an email than just write a comment below the video. As some viewers ask me where they can get the Walk With Tak Basic Seasoning Mix, uh, it's now available on Amazon and you can find the link below this video. Over the years, I have many problems when I cook with uh, cookware that have a natural surface, particularly with woks. When I talk about natural surface, I talk about the materials such as carbon steel, cast iron, light cast iron, and stainless steel. And the biggest problem is that when you fry eggs in them, and they have a tendency for the egg to stick and burn. And the end result is that it will ruin the meal that you try to cook. Now, there are different methods of, of how to create a non-stick cook surface in this kind of cookware, and the method simply refers to as seasoning. The method is an ancient method because this is a method that used for a long time when people use wok with all cookware with natural surfaces uh, without the non-stick coating, which developed in the 1950s. However, wok with non-stick coating has a lot of limitations. And some of the limitations is that uh, you uh, cannot use, uh, for example, a metal wok spatula, or you can never get the temperature of the surface of the wok high enough because of the non-stick coating. And therefore, moving to wok with natural surface, if you are serious about stir frying, is almost a necessity. Now, this seasoning is usually recommended when you first purchase a new wok. And for example, this is a demonstration of what it should look like. And quite often this seasoning is associated with a phenomenon known as patina. A patina is kind of a, a bluish dark color on the surface of the cookware that results from heating the wok in oil. And the end result is that you create this layer that frequently associate with the non-stick property of the cookware. But unfortunately, that is not always the case. In fact, I have tried this seasoning method for a long time, and I do not have good results. This seasoning method tends to be complicated. And here are some examples of how this seasoning method is being carried out. For example, one method is that you can carry it out on top of a stove, and you will heat the wok with oil in it, uh, usually repeatedly for about uh, four, five, six, seven times, and sometimes it will take up to an hour. Another frequent method that is being used uh, is to season it in the oven. Again, it takes about 30 to 40 minutes. And here is one method that actually suggests that you season it with using salt. Now, the approach in this method is to create this patina layer, and most people consider this is a one-step process. Once you season the wok, uh, it will be good for the rest of your life that you can use it repeatedly without having to ever concern about that food is going to stick to the surface of the wok. Unfortunately, that is not the case, because the seasoning on the surface of the wok is a dynamic process. It is not a permanent chemical process such as with non-stick coating. And the end result is that uh, depending on what you do with the wok, this seasoning will be either removed or uh, wear out. For example, to remove it, you can simply wash the wok with uh, soap and doing a little bit gentle scrubbing, you can remove the seasoning almost completely. Another way that you can uh, wear off the seasoning is a simple by cooking, particularly when you cook food that contains acidic content, or you boil water in the wok. And so those are the things that people are told to avoid uh, when they use a wok with a natural surface, because in this case, your seasoning will be washed away. Now, it has always been associated, particularly in carbon steel wok, that patina layer is responsible for creating the non-stick cook surface. So a lot of work has been put into in achieving this patina layer. So what is this patina layer? And based on my personal experience as well as research on the nature of the patina layer, I realized that the patina layer actually has nothing to do with the non-stick cooked surface that are created by seasoning. Now I have come to the conclusion is that it is a oily layer that are created when the oil is heated up to the temperature of its smoking point.
Uh, the oil form a polymer-like surface and which uh, coat the surface of the bare metal and this is responsible for the non stick property of the natural surface of the cookware and this layer can be created without any sort of a coloration although a lot of time this coloration do appear it depends on the type of cookware that you use and so in this video in order to demonstrate this point i'm going to use a brand new carbon steel wok I wash the wok to remove any preservative that might present on the surface of the wok to prevent it from rusting. And then I'm going to use my spice seasoning method. Now this method is a very ancient method. Basically the idea is that you heat uh, the wok uh, with oil in it uh, to the temperature when the oil is close to its smoking point. And when the oil starts to smoke gently, and this is the time when the wok is being seasoned, where the oil will form a polymeric layer uh, to cover the surface of the wok. And it turned out that you really do not need to heat the wok for any length of time. Uh, usually about 15 to 30 seconds is plenty enough. Now since this wok is the first time I'm using it, I'm going to heat it a little bit longer. I'm going to heat the wok until it starts to oil and then I turn the heat down and let the oil to smoke for another 30 seconds. And this is the time when the wok is being seasoned. Now in order to test the effectiveness of the seasoning method, the best way is to fry eggs in it. So in this case, I'm going to uh, fry an, what I call an egg scramblet. Basically, it's a combination of scrambled egg and an egg omelet. As you notice that as soon as I put the oil, uh, put the egg into the wok, uh, the egg starts to uh, bubble almost immediately. Well, this is an indication that the oil is very hot. Now you notice that now I start to use my wok spatula uh, to push the eggs around and you notice that there's nothing stick to the bottom of the wok and as you can see the wok is brand new and it has no patina layer and I never treated the wok at all other than I spot season the wok before I add the egg to it. So this is a clear demonstration that you do not need the patina layer uh, to fry eggs or in this case to create a non-stick cook surface and just by heating the oil to its smoking point for about 15 to 30 seconds it is adequate for you uh, to create a non-stick cook surface. Now after I cook the egg uh, you notice that, that the wok has uh, some brown coloration in fact this is what people normally call it a patina layer so is it really necessary to create this patina layer? my answer to the question is that no. This patina layer actually is created as a byproduct of a seasoning wok with the spot seasoning. It is not responsible for the non-stick cooked surface as indicated when I fry an egg. Here is another example that I cook another egg dish in the same wok. Uh, in this case, you can see that some part of the wok has the burnt carbonation material that are present on the surface, which frequently refers to as the patina color. But the other area is bare metal and has nothing on it. And I'm going to spot season it with the same method that I used earlier. Then I'm going to let the oil to uh, smoke for about 15 seconds and add the egg to the wok. As you can see, uh, I have no problem with the egg stick to the surface of the wall. So the end result is that the conclusion is that the patina actually has nothing to do uh, with the non-stick property of the wok. And the non-stick property wok without from seasoning with oil is actually invisible. Uh, here is further demonstration that the patina layer has nothing to do with the non-stick cook surface that are result from seasoning a wok with natural surface. Uh, in this case, I spot season a stainless steel wok and I can fry an egg in it uh, without the egg from sticking and burning. Uh, so here is my conclusion. When you get a brand new wok, whether it is a carbon steel cast iron or stainless steel wok, uh, you can season the wok in 30 seconds instead of 30 minutes as often suggested in many of uh, other instructions. I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking practical, creative, efficient and fun. If you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, so keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.